Hi guys, and welcome to your July 2019 Divine Energy Oracle Message. This is going to be for the beautiful sign of a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I am excited for you, Libra, because you have a brand new message. You are not crossing energies with anybody for the month of July. However, um, and what's interesting is, is you got a brand new message in June too. The last time you crossed, which I'm very excited, is um, May. So... Good, good, good. That's good. Now, even if you're crossing, that doesn't mean anything, but um, we are changing the format, Libra. So your message is going to be read in its entirety. But going forward, if you cross with another energy, I'm only going to start at the energy, the divine energy portion of the message and the invitation portion of the message, because that's the energy that you may be experiencing right now. And the invitation is an invitation for you to correct, tweak, or raise your vibration to your higher self to correct that energy, okay? So, hope that made sense. Let's get started. Libra, your July 2019 message is to live your soul and not a role. Beautiful message for the month of July. Live your soul and not a role. For all of you Libras who have just got a brand new job, whether it be sun, moon, rising, or Venus, a brand new job, a brand new opportunity. If you're an entrepreneur, new business, whatever you're experiencing, congratulations. And let's find out what your message has, uh, what spirit has for you this month. So be wary of being pigeonholed, pigeonholing yourself into certain roles, false identities, and fixed behaviors such as mother, father, boss, or worse. Failure. These roles can leave you limited and unable to connect and express your true nature. Present struggles with others can be, can be attrib attributed to falling under a spell of some type of role playing that, that does not allow your true spirit to shine. Okay. And prevents genuine connection with others to occur. Does that make sense? Libra, your divine energy is calling you to connect with others in an authentic and available soul-to-soul -soul type of way. Recognizing the things that you share in common and avoid false role-to-role -role interactions that create distance and misunderstanding. Hmm. Libra, your divine invitation is to allow your divine energy to flow freely. Drop your defenses and pretenses. And relax your fears. You are a beautiful and bright soul. Let others enjoy the real you. They will love you. This almost is very, um, this is, it, it instantly makes me feel like <clears throat> wearing a false self mask. Um, but I do understand getting caught up in roles. Oh, we're this. So now this is my responsibility. And you can hide behind that. Does that make sense? Have you think about it? There are roles that we accept or that we want. And um, Libra, you are a very wanting a relationship type of energy. Okay. Um, I'm not going to say that that's what you need because every chart is different and that's a zodiac stereotype. But you do like a relationship. I'm not going to say you need it and it defines you, but you do like it. You like to be coupled. Um, you know, if you don't resonate with that and you're a Libra, that just means that you're a different type of Libra. And we're all different, no matter whether we're whatever we are, we're still a different version of that. There is no textbook stereotype person that fits it unless you have Libra in every single. And even if you have Libra in every, every single house, you're still going to approach that house different because that house is ruled by another energy. So it is inevitable that you're going to be different, but off of that tangent. So um, you are a relationship liking sign. You, 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 you like that. And in relationships, there can be pigeonholing. Actually in anything, but I think work is a little bit different because Yes, certain uh, job titles and job descriptions, depending on what you decided to go inside of the company or whatever opportunity for, that's what you are. But we know that and if we've worked for any type of company, if you've worked for anyone else, you know that those job descriptions can either be okay or not okay. Let me clarify. 
The job description can either be exactly what it is, limiting you to just that. But nine times out of ten, in my experience, and every, you know the experience is different for everybody, Libra, the job description is open. So they always have you doing more than what they're either paying you to do or more uh, than what that description says. And then if you don't do that, it kind of falls. It just It's a big mess. So I really don't feel like intuitively this is uh, speaking to you from that particular level. It may. Um, but I think this is relationships. That's what I, I said. I'll let to say that. So. Yes, it is easy to get pigeonholed and get caught into a title and 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 start to perform under that perceived description. And it's limiting. And then you don't really show your true self because a lot of people can get caught up in being afraid of what their true self looks like. So again, you're being guided to live your soul and not a row, okay? I certainly hope that that resonated with at least one Libra out there. I am Libra rising, so I will be doing some soul searching to see how this falls in line with titles and things of that nature. It's a very powerful message. It doesn't resonate right away, but it doesn't mean, it does not mean that it doesn't resonate just because you don't know. So this is a brand new message for you. This is a brand new thing that you have to deal with this month. You're not crossing with anybody. So this is about self. This is self-work, self-discovery, okay? No one else is there. So only you know. If you're catching this and you want to catch up with me, you're catching this video and it's home and IGTV and you want to catch up with me um, and book some time with me, main Instagram page, click the link. It will re uh, direct you to where you need to go. If you're catching this in Facebook, scroll up, you'll see my services. You can either go and click into one of those boxes or simply click the book it button and you'll see my services pop up. And if you're catching this in YouTube, go inside of the description box and you'll see everything that you need to see right there. Um, all of the links and everything else. So like, share, subscribe to this tribe. I appreciate all of the support. Whatever platform you're catching this in, go ahead and like the video, please. Comment, please. And spoiler alert, at year end, I'm going to do a year end review for all of the energies. I don't think I said that it's at the beginning of the video. If I did, I'm sorry for being redundant. We're going to um, break down the energies for every one of the zodiac signs at year end. And then I'm going to um, present the new deck going forward. So I'm out of here. See you later, Libra. See you next month.